As far as the water line goes to one of these uh, floats, I'm going to be using a plastic one just for just to test it out over here. But usually copper is used for for long term. You know, this plastic doesn't last too many years. You know, you're not going to get a three, four, five years out of it max. So, if possible, go with the, with the copper line like this. And if if you don't have a, an outlet already. You can always just buy one of these. I'll post links to all the these parts so you can get an idea what they are. This one basically has a tap for the for a swamp cooler right there, and it just plugs straight onto a regular faucet. So that's all I'm going to be doing to test this one is I'm just going to screw it straight onto a faucet over here. put the other end of the line onto it for right now for testing so since I need two hands to do this I'll be right back all right so I hooked that up I, I lost a little rubber piece that goes on the tip of this so it's leaking but this is only for testing purposes so otherwise I'd be putting a new little round rubber piece on the end of this but basically it's hooked up and uh, so you could, you could also get one that taps straight into the side of a line, but if you don't have one, you want to do it the easy way, you could just use one of these. But basically, you need the water line coming in, so it's coming over. And there it is right there. Now, it's going to fill up. It's going to take a little bit of time. One thing you, you want to do is like this is it's got a hole over here, which helps you clean it out. You know, because you want to get all the all the dirt out of it. I use my vacuum's not working good, otherwise I'd be using it. But uh, you know, you want all the all the get as much of this junk you can out of it, so it doesn't clog up your water pump when uh, when it's like this. If you have a new system, obviously you're not going to have to worry about it. And if you want to uh, redo it, it just has a little pipe that just screws right back in. That'll stop it from coming out the drain hole right there. And so I'll go ahead and let it fill up, even though I'm gonna have to clean this up better. Uh, so we're gonna let it fill up, and we'll check this float right after it does. This float is old. All these parts are old on this. If you're doing this on a new one, then you're not gonna have to worry about old parts, but like this, but I'm, you know, I'm refurbishing this one and going to sell it on Craigslist or install it in a house or whatever, you know, basically it. And, uh, you know, like I said, the nice thing about this one is it's stainless steel. If the bottom is rusted up on you, I'll have to do another video on one that is rusted up. You could buy special uh, adhesive that you could put down because they will leak. If they start becoming rusted up, you could put it down to help protect them, make them last a few more years. And so once this fills up, I'm going to let it fill up, and I'll be right back. All right, so this float has shut off, and uh, if it doesn't for you, the whole unit should be level, by the way. I should have said that. But, uh, you know, so the water is level going all the way around. And what you want to do is you just want enough water to go into the water pump right there. And uh, if the level is bad for you or whatever it's very simple to swap out you know it just has two nuts on either side you just bust the line loose here your water line shut the water off and you have two nuts and you simply unscrew it and screw another one in they're really simple to swap out or you can adjust it if it keeps leaking with uh, by bending this slightly until it works tweaking it a little bit until it works but uh, this one's working so the float for me is going good so the next step is going to be wiring it up and testing it out with the controls <laughs> 